Hello again. Uh, it's raining a little bit, but I've got my canopy that I've made. So I'm, I'll show you that in a bit. Quite proud of, of that. So it's keeping the camera dry, although it's also blowing it a bit with the with the wind on the at the umbrellas, sort of making the tripod a bit unstable. Um, also, Tom's. Well, no, I just, oh, that was meant to be a surprise, but um, he was meant to just walk in but I mentioned that he was there so it slightly ruined that Don't worry. but I do have a surprise for Tom later on so I, I just have to check this it's a bit wobbly on the I think it's just the umbrellas in the wind but it's not hopefully bring the whole a, thing I a, a guess as to what it might be so I got these oh you know what I'm uh, yeah well it's a, the, yeah he saw the video, the video yeah I'm okay the... right well anyway let's get cracking off and not cracking off just cracking you carry on. So before I didn't have any of this and when the rain came down it would get in the, um, the camera, the lens and, and all of this. I have this little monitor here and that's because I can focus quite easily. Um, so all of that is, is, is prone to getting wet so obviously with this. But the problem is when the wind catches it you see you get this and I, that's what I'm worried about. But anyway I won't, I won't keep uh, going on about it. The other good thing about this is it just works as a general when I'm walking along like a, a, a rain cover which is uh, which is nice. I know you all know about umbrellas but in this context it's quite exciting for me. It's hopeless really when it's like this trying to do any tracking. It's so wet all the ground is you can't tell what's been going on because it's all just so shiny and, and dark and wet. Raining's got slightly worse, so we've just sheltered in here, which is a sort of archway more than a cave, really. And uh, and uh, Tom has, well, he'll explain. Hang on, it probably might, you probably <coughs> need to go into that. Oh, yeah. Should we put it on your leg? Yeah. Can I ask you some questions from YouTube? Yes. <clears throat> he has pre-warned me of this, so I, but I don't know what he's going to ask me. So. Vivian O'Keefe wants to know, those pixies are a bit nosy, aren't they? There's a, it's a question. It, there's a question mark. So I guess that it's, it, that's those the, pixies are a bit nosy, aren't they? Um, which ones? The one we're trying to find now. Maybe that one. This one. Oh, the one. This. Oh, the one we're, we're on they, the lookout for uh, now. It probably means that are they inquisitive it's, or are uh, they? Are they quit? Are they nosy? Or well, they are. Those pixies are a bit nosy, aren't they? Yes. Mousy rock, RC. Uh, it says a triang a tra a trangia stove. Oh, it's a trangia stove. That's this one. This yeah. is why. Yes, it's um. Well, I've already showed it off, but yes. That's I'm the name. That's the name that. that you forgot. Oh, I see. What well, yes, a trangia. Yes. Yeah. Um, they were designed in uh, nineteen. <coughs> I think it was nineteen twenty. They've been around a long time, so it's they're a very good make, and they're very. They've obviously been perfected over the years, and so that's why. I went for it because obviously something with that amount of history is sorry carry on doug's monsters are you bill oddy in disguise what the, from the goodies yes no okay it's just an aluminium doesn't say anything about it just says made in sweden so um nicole wooding is worried that the um sugary spaceships uh, the flying saucers yeah flying saucers might cause cavities well, I already have cavities, so. In, um, and uh, she's guessing the. Oh, in their teeth. Yeah, in their teeth. Well, they may be well. Yes. Um, I don't give them out that often, to be honest. Something less sweet would be better. Badong, Kanete. I'm sorry if that's said wrong. Do you have a book about pixies? I do have a book about general f uh, fairy folk that was written in. Um, I don't know when it was originally written. It's certainly more than 150 years old, but it's not. It's a, it's a book on... I mean, I have various books on them, um, but a lot of them are folklore, so they're not really of, 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 of any... Uh, but none of your own? Use. You, don't, you don't have your own book? I I've never made one, no. I, I, I have plenty of reference material, but as I say, it's uh, folklore rather than, um, you know, accurate... Uh, yeah. There's not really a, uh, an accurate scientific study, which is... I mean, apart from the ethereologist, nobody's really looked at this seriously, so it's, uh, it's an area that's very prone to... Uh, fanciful uh, anecdotes and stories and 
Nancy Greenler. Yeah. If Tom isn't there, who's recording you when you walk through the woods? Me. Well, that's the whole thing with the with the. That's why it make, makes me feel so silly because I have to put the camera there, and, and it was Tom who told me to do this because originally I was just filming my self just um, when I was talking and he said well it'll look more interesting if you're going from A to B so I'll put the camera there and then I'll walk along and then I'll come back and collect the camera and um, but it's just there to make give the feeling like I'm like I'm walking around but I, I, I just have to do that now this probably is as comfortable as it might look it's horrible actually today and, I, and yeah. I, I've sort of got bored with the umbrella thing as well so well, let's just stay here for a bit unfortunately here it's too small to make a cup of tea but there's a rock here and um, you either have to sit out there and cook it put the cooker on the, the stove on here the ground there's not really any good for um for putting making a cup of tea on so i think we should go down I, and, and check check out the, the the entrance yeah and then um and then you see how you feel about going in um yeah i'm, I'm all right about it. good <laughs> so i'll switch the camera off and then as soon as I stop filming, Tom starts asking me a lot of questions about the worm. Uh, I think there's a certain amount of bravado on camera. What? <laughs> I asked you Just, th three questions? Yeah, three on top of the original three that you asked originally, so that's six. Okay. When are we going down? Uh, we can go now if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it now then. Have we done all we need? Yeah. Rain's too heavy apparently now because Tom's not wanting to get his camera wet. The water's starting to now seep through the back of my trousers. There's a dribble coming down, so that's not nice. When are we going down though? We go down whenever you say yes. But every time I, I ask you, it's got some sort of. your camera's wet or your. It was wet. No, you, well, you said you don't want to go when it's, uh, when it's heavy rain. It's not that bad now, so... We can go whenever. Okay, I'm come fine. on then. Right, let's, let's go. <laughs> come on then. <laughs> come on. You going now? Yep. So... We'll just finish. I'm just eating a sausage roll and then we'll go straight in. It's getting starting to get dark, so um, um, this is the only thoughts we have. Yeah. Can I but it's, it? it's quite a strong one. It's, I mean, it's not strong out here, but when you go down there, it'll be fine. So it goes in there and then to the left. Okay. Well, you don't, are you going to do it now? Okay. Um, well, you can go, you can do it now. I thought we were going to finish, I, I was going to finish my food and then we could go. Or you can finish your food if you like. So the reason why we're doing this is because, well, I'm, for my theory, I'm interested in having a, uh, a view of what's down. So, so Tom's going to take video of anything he finds down at the other end, like um, animal remains or anything like that. I don't really think the worm will show up. I think the network of these caves is large and there's probably other entrances uh, also, but um, we don't know. So he just left his camera and we'd put some of our stuff back in the sheltered bit. Can you go back and get it if I wait here then? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, not sure if it's a good idea now. It was sort of quite amusing, the idea of... I, I actually thought he'd say no. <laughs> um, so it's sort of slightly backfired. Uh, I didn't really think he'd actually go through with it. I didn't have one when I went down last time. We, need, we probably should have help. But it's quite a tall... There's, there's only a couple of bits where it goes down, and most of it's quite tall, so... It's yeah. low there, where you go in. And then past that point, it sort of goes... We just tell them not to copy. Well, we can't. We can't tell them not to copy us and then do it. You could, you could do anything with saying that, couldn't you? 
so we're going in. Uh, go, if, I'll take this camera, it's on the tripod at the moment, and then, well, I'll take it now because uh, it's all attached to the umbrella, so uh, I need to take it off somehow quickly. Uh, just wait a moment, Tom. Right with your hat. Tom's been uh, adjusting everything, styling his wellies in a slightly different way to uh, avoid cave spiders apparently. I was joking about the spiders. Why would you joke about spiders? <laughs> it's hot in here. We're <sighs> filming those hairy bits. Yeah. What's that? Roots of something? your head. Yeah, thanks. Are you going to stay back a bit while I like, have a look? Hold on, let's, do, let's, let's figure out what we're going to do. Can you see the end? Almost. Okay, let's go a bit, a bit further. Just, just keep quiet. I know you are being quiet, but just stay keeping being quiet. doesn't appear that there's anything down there but Tom's just going to check just see if there are any bones down there apologize for my ridiculous helmet arrangement my belt this is my trouser belt so that stinging nettle's really hurting my finger from earlier yeah I got stung being up and down the cave uh, doesn't seem to any signs of life <laughs> which is a good thing but Unfortunately, we didn't. We can't, we can't really see any bones either. But still, at least you've braved <laughs> the. Um, Where's the water seeping through from? That's just from above, really. See my silhouette. <laughs> oh, yeah. Spooky. But he's not around at this entrance today, so it seems so. And no signs of any bones. So I'm not quite sure what that does say about my theory. But if he's more like reptilian. Yeah. yeah, well, that's what I said, but I, 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 it still doesn't really... It, finding nothing is no proof of anything, is it? So, but I don't really want to go down past that bit where I saw him before, so... Where? There's a bat in here. What? Where? Where? It's around. Oh! So there are bats. Oh, Wow. He went out, I think. Should we go down to the end again? Yeah, okay. Do you want me to try go first? Yeah. Let me put the tripod down. Are you scared of bats? Uh, I didn't fall down a well of bats or anything. Hmm? It's Batman, don't worry. Batman? Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. I know Batman. But... I'm going to come down. Actually, I can leave that there. We're still looking for bones because I can't see any. If they're here, they're the same colour as everything else. He's probably got lots of different entrances, so... Have you got your camera going? Um, yeah, it's going now. Okay. Okay, uh, Owen. Owen. Oh, okay. Um, um, uh, run, 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 run. I am, I am, I can't go. Burning my hand. At least we got to see a bat. <laughs>